sure, I know we've been doing a lot of sharing and kind of looking internally, but I want to really talk about the spiritual gifts and what to look for. I don't, have, it, have any of you done the test? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you kind of know you don't have your test, Jessica, do you want it? Yeah, it's not a sport. Yeah. <laughs> you have mine too, right? I do, yes. I don't know what my gift is. But... Which one? Well, that's yours, Mac. Thank you. You can score quick if you want. It's pretty easy to score. Okay, as we're going through, I might just ask if you should have a top three spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes you've got one that's way stronger than others, but some people have three that are all around the same number. But as we're going through, if you feel like sharing, we'll just kind of go through all of the spiritual gifts on this sheet and talk about characteristics that you might have, if that is your spiritual gift. And then for a few of them, I couldn't find it for all of them, but we'll talk about how you could misuse your spiritual gift, and we'll kind of um, go through those two. So things, and one pastor I had, Kind of described it as if you're in the spirit, like if you're, you know, talking with God every day, praying, reading the Bible, your spiritual gifts will look one way. If you're not, if you're kind of walking more without God, the spiritual gifts are going to kind of taint again, right? How we said they kind of get distorted. So even if though it's a gift, it might look different if you're not um, using it for God's purposes. So that's what we're going to look at. So if you feel like sharing, I'm going to ask who has. <laughs> But then you can kind of let me know if it feels like it matches um, what you thought of yourself or if, it, or if it was something. I took it last night. Peter and I both took the test last night. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Mark, there's a, oh, there's pens and then. Oh, wow. A lot of pens. <laughs> so let's just go through.